So today I'm going to share with you if you can buy a business from your own boss if you're working for someone else. So let's get to it. So hey guys, um, if you're new to this channel, my name is Mohan Pober. I've been involved in different businesses over the last 10 years. Right now, this channel is all about how to buy existing businesses. This is what I'm doing. I'm out there looking to raise capital, buy businesses, sell businesses in our portfolio. We have few roll-ups in different industries and we're working with few clients, showing them the process and potentially partner with them on the back end as well. Um, on how, I mean, if you want to see like A to Z training on that, see below this video on how some of my clients are buying one, two, three businesses in a year and how they use other people's money to pay for those acquisitions. Plus, how they, they then be able to step back and they have other people running the day-to-day -day for them. So this is what this channel is all about. But today I'm going to answer a very specific question from someone who is basically asking me if he can buy a business, basically the business that he's working for. And the answer in a nutshell is yes, obviously your business is like any other business and you have, I'll talk about a few of the benefits and a few of kind of like the negatives of looking to buy your own, uh, the, the business that you're working for. So the positives is obviously you have direct access to the owner, right? I mean, you work with that business, you are able or probably already have some kind of rapport with that business owner and you have the direct access, the direct rapport and understanding of what he needs, why he's looking to sell the business and understanding of that situation it can help you and bring you a lot of value in the negotiation. And obviously the fact that he knows you can give you an extra point in terms of, let's say there is another competitor trying to buy that business. That's a great value that you can bring to that table and obviously he knows you he knows that you can be the safe pair of hands potentially he can even give you a better term because he already knows you so that's kind of like the positives um, and obviously you know the business so if you have like a good role there you can then easily be able to run that business or own that business they know exactly what's going on in their industry in the sector and all that so that's a lot about the positives a little bit about the challenges or negatives what i see with people who work for someone and looking to buy uh, the, the basically the business that they're working for is the fact that they're they're becoming many times a little bit desperate because that's kind of like the only business that they're, they want to buy and I think that if you want to learn how to buy a business ideally go and learn how to buy businesses in general and learn that skill set and don't be like needy and desperate on that one business because I mean the other side is going to feel that you're going to see that basically you are that's the only option that you got and you don't want to come from that angle. You don't want to come from abundance, from a place that, hey, look, I'm talking to other businesses as well in the same sector. I have this opportunity, that opportunity, and you're just another opportunity. Obviously, I would love to do a deal with you because I know you, I like you, I'm going to take care of that business moving forward. But I also have those other opportunities. So if this deal won't go through, I still have many other options. So that the attitude, that's the attitude you should have in general in the space of buying businesses. You don't, you don't want to focus just on one deal. You want to have the skill set in general to go out there and be able to talk to many, many business owners and ideally have lots of opportunities and then be able to literally play with each other and tell them, hey, look, I'm, I have this deal from this guy and that option from that guy. So I'm not sure that I want to focus just on your business. And when you're coming from that, that attitude and that mindset and that positioning, I just see people becoming much more successful than people are just like desperate on that one business. Um, so that's the answer in a nutshell, guys. It's very, very good that you have that access uh, for people, for your boss to buy that business. Uh, but at the same time, don't be desperate on just that business. Go and learn that skill set in general. And if you want to learn more on A to Z, how that works, then see the links below this video on a free training that I'm hosting on how some of my clients are buying one, two, three businesses in a year. And yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you think or what business you want to buy. Uh, maybe it's a job that you're working for someone else. Let me know in that sector. And yeah, see the training below. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet. It's going to really help me. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.